Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and in this video, we are going to begin building our first level. You might be thinking, uh, wait a minute, why are we building our level before we have a character to play in it? Um, well, uh, to be honest, we could do either or. I just think building, starting with building the level would be a little bit, I don't know, more fun. Um, and this requires absolutely no programming whatsoever. So uh, this will be a nice way to introduce ourselves to this project. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we're inside of our level one scene. Level one has this empty level one node inside of it, and there's nothing else. Um, we're gonna add something called a tile set, or a tile map, actually. We're gonna add a tile map. So let's right click on the level one scene, click add child node, and then we can just start searching for tile map. There we go, tile map, and click create. Now, nothing really changed here, except for now you can probably see this faint orange grid throughout my entire uh, 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 screen here. It kind of fades away from the origin point. And over here in the inspector, we have some options that we want to set. First of all, we want to go into cell and we want to change our cell size so that it is 32 by 32, right? because our art pieces are going to be 32 by 32. So we wanna make sure that that's set properly. Okay, everything else should be pretty much the same, should be good, we should be able to keep it there. The next thing we wanna do is we want to create what's called a tile set. And so up here it says tile set is empty. If I click that menu, I can click new tile set. All right. Now with my new tile set, notice that there's nothing here. If I click on it, it'll open up this menu down here. This menu is what we are looking for. This is the tile set menu. So to create a new tile set, I'm gonna go to my art assets, I'm gonna grab my level one, and I'm gonna drag it over here. Okay, now um, this is gonna be a bunch of individual tiles and so I wanna break this up into individual pieces. So I'm gonna click new single tile. I'm gonna click on this grid here and I'm gonna click on one of those individual tiles, okay? Now I want this to be a tile that can be collided with. Um, actually that one I don't want it to be, I don't wanna collide with this tile because this is a decoration tile, all right? So that's good. I'm gonna click new single tile, click here click new single tile, click here, click new single tile, and click there. Then I'll click new single tile, click here. Notice that this I do wanna collide with, so I'm gonna click collision, and I'm gonna just draw in there, right there. So that is gonna be a collision tile. Click new single tile, click here. I do wanna collide here, so I'll drag that right there. Um, I'm going to skip the slope because I'm not going to use it. You can use it if you want. I'm not going to use it. The collision gets a bit difficult with slopes, so I'm just going to leave it out. All right. And I think that's pretty much all I want for now. You can add in all of your decorations if you'd like, but I'm going to leave it. Now, with all of my new single tiles created, if I click back on the tile map, notice that now I have all of these tiles in my tile map. And what I can do is I can literally just grab these tiles and start painting. So I'm gonna grab this and just start painting onto my scene. I can right click to delete a tile. And if I wanna rotate, I can use these arrows to rotate my tiles around. Makes it super, super easy. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of paint in a very easy level here. It doesn't have to be insanely crazy, complicated or anything like that. I'm just gonna paint in just a square box and I'll probably add in some other decorations and stuff as we go. Um, but let's see, I'll add in some, some areas to jump. All right. There we go, there's a nice little area to jump on. And then in the middle here, I'll add some one-way tiles, which we'll talk about in a second. 
So that's my tile map. Now, obviously, I'm I'm going really quickly because I want to be able to. Uh, um, I don't want to spend too much time here, um, but I want you to create a really nice, complicated, big map. Right? It can be as big as you want, really. Um, and just for comparison, I've opened up my other lonely robot project. I'm going to bring that over to show you by comparison how big that map is. So my camera is here, right? And I've actually created probably four times as big as my camera, if not more, um, a, a map that's that that's way bigger than what I just drew, right? So again, it's it's up to you what you want your or how big you want your map to be. Um, and you can actually add some platforms as well. I'll add a platform here. And again, mine is probably going to be too small. I'm probably going to add to it when I'm not on camera, but um, yeah, there we go. That's a basic tile map. And that's the beauty of tile maps is that if we wanted to expand the level, we could literally just um, keep going and we can make it bigger if we wanted to. Um, all we have to do is just paint in um, what we want, right? So there we go. Perfect. So um, that is, that that's really all it is. I mean, that's that's as easy as it can can be. Oh gosh, what am I doing here? <laughs> that was weird. Um, yeah, that's as easy it, as it is. It, it really doesn't get super complicated. Um, I'm just gonna put my platform back in here, and then we will move on to the next concept, which can be a little bit more complicated, but it's it's really it's really not. Um, okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create uh, a separate tile map that uses tiles that will allow me to go through some tiles, but fall through others. I want to create something called a, in game development, it's called, um, one way tiles, right? So let's create a separate tile map. I'm going to right click, add child node. I'm going to create a tile map create, and I'm going to call this one one way. All right. Now, in order for this to work, we have to create a new tile map or new tile set. So create new tile set, bring in the artwork and I'm going to bring in. So new single tile, new single tile, new single tile. I'm going to bring on all the same tiles that I brought in before. Um, but I'm not going to set collision for any of them because we're going to handle collision in a different way. All right. So I have all my tiles and I'm just going to create a platform here. Also make sure that you set your cell size back to 32 by 32. Okay. And the way this is going to work is let's say I wanted to have, um, I don't know, a platform here platform there and maybe a platform here, but I wanted this all to be kind of filled in so that it was like a part of there we go. So it kind of feels more like, a, you know, like, like a little mountain in the background of your level, but I want my character to be able to jump all the way up there and whatnot. So what I can do is if I were to play this, I don't have a character. I don't have a player character yet, but if I were to play this, I would be able to collide with all of these tiles because they're on my tile map, which, which has collision set up, but I wouldn't be able to collide with these tiles because I didn't add collision. What I need to do is I need to add, um, a special object to this to set that up. Let me move this over here, get that out of the way. I need to set up something called a static body 2d. So what a static body 2d is going to do is it's going to allow me to have collision, but it won't move. It'll stay exactly where it's supposed to stay. So I'm going to create a static body 2d as a child of my one way tiles. Now notice I have an error here. It says this node has no shape. 
so it can't collide or interact with objects. So consider adding a collision shape 2D or polygon 2D. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add a, where is, oh, add child node. <laughs> and I'm gonna add collision shape 2D, collision shape 2D. And I'm gonna give it a, oh, a new rectangle. And I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna kind of put it around one of my platforms here so that it has something to collide with, right? And I wanna make sure it's pixel perfect. I'll make sure that it's right where it needs to be. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. And it doesn't matter how far we go, that's how far down we go, that's pretty good right there. What's gonna help this work, basically if, if I leave it like it is now, when my player runs down here and tries to jump, they'll hit their head against this, the bottom of this thing, right? Well, Godot makes this incredibly easy for us to turn that off and make it so that we can jump up through this platform, but when we come back down, we actually land on it. So we can go through it from underneath, but we can land on it on top. All we have to do is click one-way collision. And notice that the down arrow is showing us that we can't go down, we can go up. So all we have to do is create some one-way collision platforms for each of these objects. So, oh no, not there, sorry, I almost, almost made a mistake. I wanna add it to the static body 2D. Collision shape. Give it a rectangle. I'll move it over. and make it one way. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to do that with all of these. I'll do them while I'm kind of chatting. Uh, new, make it one way. All right, now you're probably thinking, hey, why are we doing this right now? We don't even have a way to test to see if this is working. We don't have a player. This is not gonna work. This is stupid, Mr. Storm, I'm done with you. This class sucks, it's terrible, right? I get it, yeah, the, the, the criticism is valid. We don't have a player character yet. But soon, very soon, we will have a player character and we'll be able to you know, basically set this up properly. Um, and test it and make sure that everything works. Um, it's just nice to get it in now, that way we don't have to worry about doing it later. And I figured since we were already talking about tile sets and we were already creating and designing our level, it'd be weird to design our level without this feature that we that is gonna be really important for later. All right, and then I'm just looking here. I just, it's super easy to make changes. I'm just noticing that this is gonna be weird. If I leave it like that, I'm not gonna be able to jump into that area, so. Again, making changes on the fly is incredibly easy with tile sets. And then I'll fill in all of that so that we don't see any empty tiles whenever we're playing. Okay, cool. So there's my very basic level. Um, you guys can design a much more complicated level than me. I hope you do. But for our purposes, this is going to be a perfectly fine level for us to test and play in. Um, but again, uh, you know, design as much as big or as small a level as you'd like. I'd like to see bigger levels. I think it's more interesting to play. Um, but yeah, have fun with this. Make a really cool uh, level. Use one-way tiles to create cool platforms. Add some verticality to your game. Um, and uh, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.